This film has been prepared as an aid to rigging and sailing the Hunter's Fleet boots for those who are sailors, but not necessarily familiar with gaff rig yachts. It includes useful tips for everyone, whatever their level of expertise. The gaff rig is ideal for broad boots. It is particularly suitable for manoeuvring in confined waters and allows a large sail area on a short mast, which is better for negotiating bridges. Before we start rigging the boat, we need to remove the cover. Uh, and it entails undoing the sail cover at the back end and the little elastics which hold it around the, around the uh, deck. Uh, and then finally, remove the collar from the mast and then it's stowed down the four peak. You have an information pack on board the boat. This has all of your um, contact telephone numbers for us out of hours as well as during the day. It has an ordnance survey map, a weather report, um, tide tables. There's also information about reefing. And there's even a holiday map in here. So um, gives you an idea of other places that you might want to go. There's info on showers, places you might want to go and fill up with water. Um, there's even info about the, the gas cooker and the head, not the toilet. Um, and uh, there's even a little book which is called um, About Sailing. So if you get stuck, <laughs> you can even sail, uh, use your book to go sailing with. Before we rig the boat, we need to lower this cabin top. It's a rather unique feature of a boar's boot and the fact that it, it's a lifting top with canvas sides. And before we can actually uh, do anything on the tip on the top we have to actually lower that down and it entails taking four little struts out on each corner and then lifting it up and just tucking the canvas in in each side If we wish to navigate one of the Broadland bridges, we will need to lower the mast. It's quite a relatively, it's a relatively um, easy operation, and it does entail removing the gas jaws, which are held in position with a little parallel line. If I undo one end of that and just push the gas jaws back, if you leave those in position, they would nip there as we lower the mast. Next thing, take the hatch off and remove the mast gate. It's a little plate which is just a safety plate in the bottom of the mast. And when you take that out, just pop that down in the four peak. Don't leave it on the deck, we might uh, knock it overboard. Um, so it's safer to do this with two people, so if we have an assistant and Vicky is going to help us, um, that'll be fine.
prior to putting the mask back up again, a little bit of preparation is needed. But if we leave all these shrouds laying on the side decks, as the mask comes up, they will catch up underneath little projections such as that. And uh, so before we actually make a start, we will need to pop these up on the cabin top or on the top of the mast, just over palm's way.